Well, I'm going to just go around the short neighborhood this morning. It's trash day. Maybe I'll find something. I just need to get out, man. I'm going stir crazy. This is Tuesday. Oh, got my new hat. Got my cup holder from a subscriber. Um, you will see. I think I got it in this video before I opened the package and everything. But uh, it works great. <laughs> It, I got to get used to it, though. Anyway, I am getting ready to hit the road. GoPro stop recording. Well, this looks kind of interesting. <laughs> if you think trash is interesting. out of can yeah it is that's a two center that's about it though that's about it can is one can oh I'm gonna have to tighten that I see that right now that's not tight enough all right let me put that in there Take that out and I'll just hold it till I stop. At least I got a holder. Yeah, it's going to take some tweaking. It's going to take some tweaking. There we go. I hope they get over here today with my darn batteries because I'm tired of this stuff. Scared to go anywhere. Nothing. 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 Now. I don't 
see nothing down that road. I see something piled over here. hanging on the thing here all the way from angling. I'm going to leave that down there like that. Get these bags. Get these cans. I've been thinking, I wonder what would happen if I went to every house in the neighborhood, every family, and asked them would they shave their cans for me. and let me come around and pick them up once a week. You know what? I don't want to. There's another one. There's another one. But yeah, to ask them to to uh, I just bet you if I had about three hundred families here that would do that for me. I would probably be getting more tins. I don't want to get my fingers in that. I don't want my fingers in that. I wonder if you could is there any value on bottles, plastic? I'm gonna have to call around about that because I see a lot. I see a lot of, you see that drink box there? So where's all the cans? Probably in them bags down there. And I can't be digging down that deep. Anyhow, got some cans. That's my other bag from England. And I'm not mentioning any names because to tell you the truth, I know the name, but I forget. Um, 
That looks like nothing. I don't even see the imprints of a pen. Alright, I'm going to go down here. My daughter's friend doesn't have anything out here today. Oh, uh, right in the middle of the road, and I almost run over it. Nasty, nasty. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm talking about. Can you see that? <laughs> dog poo or a cat. I'm assuming that's dog poo. I almost run over that. That wouldn't smell very good. My friend don't have her stuff set out. Boy, she's got a lot of trash sitting there. Let's see what we got over here. I don't hear no cans rattling. I will not open it. I'm not going to open that. Oh boy. be digging in that but can you see now my camera can see in there but there's gun boy that's a bunch of maggots I'm gonna just peek no, I'm not digging in that I think it's got maggots all over the place now if the birds see them they'll they'll uh, they'll eat them suckers one at a time there's some cultures in the world that actually uh that actually eat maggots and you know what i've seen somewhere that Way back in the day, what a waste of oranges. Nothing. Nothing. Way back in the day, uh, people would, or doctors, if you could call them that back then, if somebody had a real bad infection or something and there was a lot of dead tissue on the person they was treating, they would turn maggots loose on them. Where's that? Ah, oh, Lord, I got to get that out, looks like. I'm going to put that down there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, it's door handles. I'm gonna put my camera down. I'm not, I'm sure this is not brass. I don't know, it might be, a, I don't know what it is, but I'm taking it with me. Okay. I got to work on out my system here because I'm going to quit wearing my camera on my hat. And, uh,
trying to come up with a system that like I can wear it now, but I need something that's more steady. Oh, uh, go over here and check this one. I hope my beer drinking buddies down here got a bunch of cans out because they sure didn't the other day. So far, my battery seems to be holding up. But what is what is that? Nothing. Yeah, I got to make me a harness. Something a specialty just for me. I'm not gonna look in there. Oops. I need to run down here right quick. Yeah, I'm thinking about somehow meeting all the neighbors in my immediate neighborhood and see if they would do that for me. Here's a bunch of bags and stuff, but I don't see no... That's plastic. That's steel. What the hell? That's some kind of. That's a nice jar, but I don't see nothing. Okay. Now I'll turn around. Yeah, I hope my beer drinking buddies has put out some cans, because the other day they don't try to stay, they didn't even have the garbage can out. And there's always 15 or 20 cans in their garbage. So, let's go down here and have a look, see? Looks like a man standing down there, but it's some kind of trash or something. GoPro stop recording. I see a bunch of cattle egrats up there in somebody's yard eating bugs. Look like there might be 20 or 30 of them there. Sure enough. And I see a squirrel. There's a pile of stuff over there I need to go look at. I don't see nothing down here much. Can y'all see all them egrets? Yes sir, boy, they plow through there in a heartbeat and getting all them Getting all them bugs. I guess them things must be native to Florida because I don't never see them anywhere else. But they're sure, they're sure going at it. One, two, three, four, five. Shoot, I can't count them. Why would I want to count them anyway? All right. I'm gonna go down here and look at this pile of trash. And I may just head back to the house before this thing starts doing its thing. Cause when it starts doing its thing, it slows down. And I can't walk good and I walk faster than it's moving. There's a whole pile of 
stuff there, but I don't know that I want to. Well, I don't see the can't signs or cans or anything. Is that a... Hold on. I might have found a can here. Yes, I did. That's about it, though. There goes the senior citizen's bus. They take you to appointments and stuff. And it's super cheap. It's It doesn't pay the expense of them doing that. But, yeah, that's just... No, that feels like yard waste. didn't stop but I looked yeah I'm gonna go down here and take a pick I want to see how my cherries is doing down there if they got ripe somebody's gonna get in there and pick them before I can get to them uh, is that cans or is that bottles and that's plastic bottles in a box and Nothing. Nothing. GoPro stop recording. Guess what? Somebody got my cherries. I see a few here and there on there, but somebody got in there and got the cherries. I was afraid of that. Yeah, they picked that one clean, man. That that one right there was loaded. They picked that one clean. Uh, well, no cherries for the dauber. That gone. I kind of figured that's what was going to happen. I see a few on there, but they're not right. There ain't many on there. Yep, they gone. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Well, I don't see nothing down there, so I'm going to turn around and hit that other street because I've seen some stuff sitting right there on that other street. But, you know, I watch uh, Scrap and Pallet Man and other people that's hitting these neighborhoods, but they're in different states. And I mean... It's loaded. It's, they're always finding stuff. And here, it, it just, it's not happening. It is not happening. Occasionally, yes. But it just, I don't know. I don't know. All right, I ain't gonna be able to go much. It's already dropped one light, so I'll look at this pile here and I'll head back to the house. Yeah, there it goes, doing its thing.
doing its thing and dropped another one gosh dang it man they got to get out here and fix this thing Looks like nothing. Hello Fresh, wonder what that is. All right, I'm headed back to the house. All right, it's back. back to full now if I pull it to go fast or does it drop well it didn't drop then well I'm going down kind of a little incline there yeah I'm going back to the house <laughs> There it dropped there. So we gonna And I got a hill between here and the house. The house is about a half a mile away. There's some stuff. Empty box. Nothing. Dang, this worries me as far out of me. I do not like to be stranded. And when I hit this little incline up here, it's really gonna drop. We'll see. What about that? And I used to could, when I first got this thing, I could go around the neighborhood and over to Publix three times, and I know because I did this one time. Now look at it drop. It'll get down in the yellow. It might even go to the red. Now it's in the yellow. Now it's in the red. Dad, go on it. What was I talking about? I could, I could go three times, and it never dropped. Never dropped one notch. I thought this the way this thing would work, as the batteries was getting drained, they'd drop a notch, drop a notch, drop a notch. But no, no, it's not working like that. It's all right. This now, it's, I'll gain some back. I'm at the top of this little hill. That gone. Tell you the truth, I got another little hill. Now it's all the way back in the green, all the way back up the pool. So I guess it's just putting a strain on the motor. I don't know. I wish this thing had four batteries instead of whoops. I'm going to get that can. I'm here. I'm right there at it. I might ought not be stopping. Going to get that can. Yeah, now let's go. On. I'm still sipping on coffee. My coffee maker's on the 
on the blank and uh, uh, I had to make coffee cowboy style as they call it wish my lady friend would come out she's probably got cans for me looking in her garbage can she saves cans for me. Dang this is bumpy right now they say that the, a bumpy road like this will make a drain on the battery. Huh? These roads in this neighborhood they're in dire need of repaving. But I don't know if they'd ever do that in here or not. I, don't wish. I guess if anybody did it, it has to be the county. I'm down to one green, now I'm down to the yellers. Down to the yellers, now I'm down to the red. I hope I didn't tarry too long. Nice trailer. Yeah, it's just barely moving now. Okay, I'm back up to the green a little bit. I'm too into the green. But I can see the house. Joey is not home yet. He's he works nights. He worked last night. Jennifer still ain't gone back to work. So I think she goes back to work on Wednesday night. Now, I'm at the house. I wonder what that plastic dish is sitting out there for. Oh. Um, you know what? Uh, I think I'm on sit here and guess what I may I'm gonna have finish my coffee I turn my switch off so. hmm I was watching crazy family tube last night and uh do I hear somebody talking Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Was that you hollering at me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did. I kept thinking I hear somebody. Yapping. How was your night? It was alright. It's alright? Yeah, it was slow. Really slow. Well, I just made my little neighborhood trash run. <laughs> that just shows you how my hearing is. I hear stuff, but I don't know where it's coming. I can't tell where it's coming from. <laughs> you think I was asleep or something? Huh? Did you think I was asleep? <laughs> uh, well...
Did you knock that shell fling apart? Huh? Did you knock that shell? Who did that? Probably mom. Reckon they'll pick it up this time? He, um, that's my middle grandson. He works at Walmart. And, um, they're wanting to make a manager out of him, but I think he's only 20. And, uh, first they were saying the policy was You'd have to be 21. Oh. Uh, they want them to be a CSM or a cu customer service manager. That's the one that's in charge of all the cashiers, you know, picking up, picking up money and giving them change and stuff when they need it, stuff like that, which if you got 10 or 15 cashiers working in there, that's kind of a lot of responsibility, but he's, he's got good work, work ethics, and, but I'll tell you what, since, since he graduated high school, uh, He's changed so much. Uh, most time, I don't even know if he's home or or not. You know, I'll have to go in his room and look. Uh, but like today, now he uh, he'll probably go. I don't know if he'll go anywhere today or not. I don't know, but. He's changed so much. I mean, he's not being rude or anything. He just don't talk that much. The other day, when they put Jennifer in the hospital, he didn't tell me they was putting her in the hospital. He said he left her at the hospital, and I thought that meant he come home and was going to go back and get her when they got done with her, but they admitted her, and he didn't tell me that. And I didn't know she'd been admitted till I'm wondering at around 6 o'clock at night. Is she coming home? Oh, she's in a room. <laughs> and the one that told me that was the other grandson. So he didn't tell me that. I was kind of surprised. Oh. Uh, and of course, when she gets sick or something, it worries the fire out of me because she's just 40. She'll be 49 in December. And she has more health issues at 48. At 48, I had no, I didn't start having health issues till after I got. Let's see, what year I have to think. Uh, I have to. <laughs> I can't figure nothing in my head anymore. Uh, uh, um, 41, 51, 51, 71, 81, 91. 1991, I was 50. And 2001, I was 60. And I was having no problems at all then. And I think about, I think when I hit about 67, 68, it's when I really started going downhill. Uh, Five years ago, I could get down on the ground with that baby grandson of mine. And we used to do that in the fall. I'd get, we'd break up a big old pile of leaves and me and him would run and jump in it and I'd fall down, roll around in it. Had no problems getting up and everything. 
And now, I can't do that. I can't do it. Oh. I just went downhill. Went downhill. There goes Mickey. There goes Mickey. I don't see how he stays to health and he smokes. Smokes like a dang train and he still goes and plays tennis twice a week. And he's pushing 70. Uh, but no, I, I went downhill. When I started going downhill, and that two years I worked at Walmart, uh, let's see, I was, uh, Mark's been passed away 11 years, and I was working there then. And I was around 67, 68, I was working at Walmart. And I was like in what they call day maintenance. And that's when there were spills or something or hazardous, have med type stuff. That's what I had to take care of, was cleaning up the floors. But I walked, and that was a big, that was one of them super centers. And I put one of them little things on my pocket a couple of times that counts how much how much far you walk and I was walking six and seven miles a day on a shift six or seven miles and it wasn't hard you know it was easy uh, and I was having a ball anyway because at that time I still had my little photography studio uh, I was doing part time. It was uh, <laughs> golly, Ned, don't tell me I can't even think. Of, um, Lord have mercy, sunny days. Photography. It got. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put one of the picture one of my sign that I had that. Um, I actually made that sign myself. You can look. Look at it. It's a pretty neat sign. But I was doing that, and you know, and I was meeting people all the time, and I was, and of course, I'd get to talking. I like, I love to run my mouth. And, uh, I was meeting people and I was picking up customers from my studio. And if I'd see somebody that was really unique, you know, like kids, especially kids, uh, I would uh, uh, pay them to let me do a, a photo shoot with them, you know, the kid doing different things and everything. And I picked up a lot of stuff like that, and it was photos that I could sell on, uh, uh, on a, these stock photo places that, that, that's on the internet where people buy rights to a picture or something. I was selling stuff on that. Uh, but yeah, I, I walked six, seven miles a day uh, in that place, and I was having a blast. And then when my wife passed away, and my wife and I had been shopping in that store ever since it was built in, in the 90s, early 90s. Uh, so it was really hard to go in there and walking around and not start seeing spots where we stopped and where she was talking to people and stuff like that. And, and uh, it was extremely difficult. And I talked my manager into letting me work in dairy for a while. Uh, 
when you're working there, you're back there in the cooler. All the stuff is loaded from inside the cooler in the back of the door. So you, what you see, and you open the door and get it. But you can look down on between them shelves, and you can see us in there working. And that kind of kept me away from going out there. Uh, I still, I still think there's some things that's just burned into my mind, my memory about her. Uh, one time we was walking up to the store and she was having these like seizures and she was starting to fall down. And we was almost to the door and we stopped at one of them posts. They got big yellow posts. And I was holding her against that because she was trying to fall. And uh, somebody in, inside there saw me having trouble and they brought me out a, 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 a wheelchair. For, you know, it's, it's all in memories, you know, and. and just, just hard, you know, I, I, I got a freckle or a mole on my left leg, my thigh, and it looks like same color and shape as one that was on my wife's left leg. And there was just, for years, we'd be going somewhere in the car, and most times she was wearing some shorts, you know, or pedal pushers, whatever you want to call them, and that little freckle was right there. And I always, it was like I was trying to rub it off or something, you know, but I, I can see that just as clear Oh, uh, I mean, it's clear. I could see it, uh, you know. And sometimes, if I'm sitting there in my undies or something, I see that freckle on my leg, and I uh, unconsciously start rubbing it. And. Uh, I'll tell you what, memories is a good thing, I guess. But sometimes I wish I couldn't remember that stuff, because it hurts. It hurts to start remembering. But, she also had on her left ear, no, let's see, that was, uh, yeah, it was her left ear. Right at the top there. I'll show you a little bit. Right at the top, I don't know if you can see it or not, it stuck out like that. It didn't curve back in like you naturally do, but it just kind of stuck out. And it was stayed like that. And we'd be driving or something, going. I'd be going somewhere, and she'd be sitting over, and I'd reach over and push that ear straight and hold it for a couple of minutes and then I let it go and it'd stay that way for a couple of seconds and then, but then it would just pop back out you know oh boy I tell you what if you got people you really love You better, you better savor every minute. Every minute, what is that? Garbage man. He ain't getting no garbage from us. Yeah, you better save her every minute.
because life is fragile and you don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen a couple of hours from now. But I wasted so much time that I could have been doing stuff with her and I didn't. I mean, we did stuff, but I wasn't a very good husband. I sure miss my baby. Even the time she was so mad at me. Uh, well, I need to get off of this. Uh, I didn't even mean to get started on this. I'm just sitting here enjoying the morning, enjoying the morning. It's cool it's good. you know i see all this stuff about all these heat waves going on up north and stuff and we're not having no heat wave down here i mean it gets warm 12 o'clock in the day here I, I have to go inside i can't take it but it's not like 90 something degrees it's in the upper 80s so i don't know Well, folks, there's my first scrapping with my bag. Can you see my bag there? <laughs> it's got cans. That bag's all the way from England. My friend in England, and I, it seems like I got a bunch of people from Australia and England. I've got some from Japan and I got some from Germany. The Germans I can understand a little bit, but them Japanese, I, I, I'm lost. Unless they know English, I'm lost. Anyway, um, I was something else I want to I hear the garbage truck again. Anyhow, folks, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. See you on the next video. GoPro, turn off. Uh, no, gosh, dang it. Uh, <sighs> GoPro stop recording.